One more country has joined the race to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet, and it's Japan. They're already talking about stealth technologies, laser guidance, super weapons, and all the attributes of the future aircraft that are amazing. Although Japan is traditionally known for its technology and technological achievements, microcomputers, CDs, 3D printing, and even karaoke, the Japanese have lagged behind the world's superpowers in the military sphere until recently. To understand why this is the case, we need to get a little closer to the history. After the Second World War, under pressure from the United States, Tokyo adopted a pacifist constitution in 1947 that prohibited Japan from waging offensive war and having armed forces. According to Article 9 of the Constitution, Japan has not had an army for 75 years. That's why the Japanese army is now called the Self-Defense Forces and is in a gray area. The Japanese military are civilian employees. However, nowadays the Self-Defense Forces number 250,000 people and the military budget amounted to a record $53.8 billion last year. In the world military power ranking, Japan is in fifth position. America is now giving the green light for further militarization of Japan because of the rise of China and Russia in the Pacific. Tokyo becomes the leader of the U.S. anti-China coalition in Asia. This cooperation began in 1952 when Japan and the United States signed the so-called Administrative Agreement on the conditions for the deployment of American forces on Japanese territory. This cooperation began in 1952 when Japan and the United States signed the so-called Administrative Agreement on the conditions for the deployment of American forces on Japanese territory, and this security treaty formalized the creation of the Japan-U.S. military alliance. Since then, Japan has mostly been buying weapons from the United States, but has not given up hope of creating its own. First of all, it concerns the air component. In 2008, Japan announced the launch of a program to develop a fifth-generation fighter jet. The project arose out of the country's desire to buy F-22 fighters, but the United States passed laws prohibiting the export of F-22s to other countries. To add a fifth-generation fighter to their arsenal, the Japanese decided to develop their own. The first Japanese stealth fighter was named Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin. The X-2 is a stealth fighter developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to test new aviation technologies, with more than 220 companies involved in the development and 90% of the components produced domestically. The X-2 has been dubbed Shin Shin, which translates to the embodiment of Japan. This model looks like a 9-ton machine, almost 50 feet long, and with one pilot. The cost of its development was $400 million, which is a small amount for a fifth-generation fighter, but exorbitant for the first known prototype. Therefore, the question of how many of them the Japanese have is still open. These fighters have fly-by-wire control systems using fiber optics, which transmit data faster and are resistant to electromagnetic attacks. The X-2 also boasts a self-healing control system that detects damage to the aircraft's control surfaces and automatically adjusts the handling. Contrary to predictions of mass production, the X-2 was designed only for experimental use, providing the necessary data for future fighters and has never been intended for mass production. This is confirmed by the absence of weapons on board. Shannon, however, even such an achievement is impossible without the engineering experience that the Japanese gained from the United States and the USSR. So yes, the USSR by chance transferred its advanced technologies to the United States and Japan. In September 2023, former Soviet pilot Viktor Balino died. He is known for fleeing to Japan in a MiG-25 in 1976 and being granted asylum in the United States, where he lived the rest of his life. During a training mission over the Sea of Japan, Lt. Viktor Balino hijacked a Soviet MiG-25 aircraft, landed on the Japanese island of Hoko, and sought political asylum. According to him, this decision was due to the fact that he lacked freedom in the USSR. The pilot was able to fool the radar by flying at an ultra-low altitude. The Soviet military contacted the Japanese Air Force to intercept the fugitive, but as soon as they began to pursue the pilot, he disappeared from the radar again. In November 1976, after tense negotiations, the aircraft was returned to the Soviet Union in its disassembled form in 30 boxes. Obviously, the aircraft was examined to the last detail, and for good reason. The MiG-25 is still the fastest combat aircraft in the world, capable of flying almost three times faster than sound. Its development began in the late 1950s in response to the American development of several designs for combat aircraft with speeds close to Mach 3. It is armed with four air-to-air -air missiles, two missiles with thermal homing heads, and two with radar homing heads. 
If necessary, they could strike ground targets from an altitude of 65,660 feet and a range of several tens of miles. During the design, many problems had to be solved, for example, the so-called thermal barrier. At speeds above Mach 2.5, the surface of the aircraft heated up and conventional duralumin lost its strength. Therefore, stainless steel and titanium alloys became the main construction material for the new model. The MiG-25 Special Variant set 29 world records, including an absolute altitude record of 123,500 feet. Of course, Japan and the United States had already mastered Soviet technologies and used them in future developments. Another technological example for Japan was the F-35. In 2020, the United States and Japan signed an agreement to supply 105 fifth-generation F-35 fighters, engines, electronic warfare systems, communications, and related services. The total value of the deal between Washington and Tokyo is estimated at $23 billion. This agreement brought the Japanese Air Force to second position in the world after the United States in terms of the number of fifth-generation aircraft, amounting to 147 units. The distribution of F-35 types, ordered by the Japanese Self-Defense Forces, is also interesting. 63 aircraft in the F-35A land-based version and 42 F-35B vertical landing fighters. The F-35 is the most versatile fighter jet ever built. In 2001, the F-35 prototype, the X-35, was named the winner of the Joint Strike Fighter Competition, designed to find a replacement for several aircraft, including the F-16 fighter jet, the low-altitude A-10, and the vertical takeoff Harrier jet. Thus, the F-35 is truly versatile. In the U.S. Army, it is designed to carry out bombing missions, support ground troops, and engage in air combat, and it has a significant amount of weapons-carrying capacity. The F-35's payload capability and versatility, in theory, should change the rules of modern combat, but some analysts are skeptical of this concept. However, its technical characteristics are impressive. For example, F-35 helmets allow pilots to see through the aircraft. Visibility has always been a problem in fighter jets. Previous generations of fighter jets had multiple screens showing real-time images from four different angles. A specially equipped F-35 helmet, costing $400,000, shows real-time images from infrared cameras throughout the aircraft on a seamless augmented reality display, effectively allowing the pilot to see right through their own aircraft. Its versatile weaponry changes depending on the mission, and its stealth systems easily bypass enemy air defenses. Because of its stealth design, it is intended to carry weapons internally. Based on all the available experience, Japan decided to take a step forward rather than catch up. The country plans to present a prototype of the sixth-generation stealth fighter called Mitsubishi FX this year. Existing renders of the FX show rounded fuselage configurations similar to the F-22 and twin-engine exhaust designs. Large-scale production of the FX is scheduled for 2031, and the new aircraft will eventually replace the existing Japanese Mitsubishi F-2. Perhaps the Mitsubishi FX will resemble the F-22, given that it appeared in concept in the late 1990s when it was decided that the United States would not export the F-22. But is it really so? It is officially stated that the United States does not want to share modern technologies that Japan needs to create six-generation fighters, so the Japanese had to ask for help from the UK and Italy, which will work on the most powerful fighter. The fact that Japan intends to develop its own fifth-generation fighter jet under the FX program became known at the end of 2020. The project envisaged the creation of a combat aircraft that would replace the Mitsubishi F-2 fighters. Nothing was known about the progress of the project except that it was supposed to look like a combination of the American F-35 and F-22. However, as a result, the government decided to create a sixth-generation fighter by merging the British Tempest program with the Japanese FX project. It is supposed to be the best fighter jet in history called Godzilla, though this is not the official name. This aircraft cannot be viewed solely through a historical lens. It is insanely fast, maneuverable, equipped with laser weapons, and features an invisibility system capable of controlling drones from a distance and attacking the enemy without human intervention. This is how the aircraft can be described, but it will also be able to surprise not only with its weapons. The most important part of any fighter jet is the engine, and who better than Mitsubishi to know how to make it? Despite the fact that the technology of hypersonic engines is complex and requires solving many technical issues related to cooling components at very high temperatures, Mitsubishi is working on the engine for Godzilla. The text copes with all the challenges it has, 
featuring additional air guides that help more air to enter the combustion chamber where it's mixed with the fuel and then combustion creates jet thrust. This technology accelerates the fighter to 1990 miles per hour in basic flight mode. You may ask if there's a basic mode, then there's an advanced mode, that's right. The new engine has two flight modes and is also equipped with a hydrogen tank for short-term flight, speeding up to 2,500 miles per hour. Even the American Dark Star will not stand against this. We are innovating products and vertical experiences and services. The second most important component of these sixth-generation fighters is the availability of new weapons. The British Laser Directed Energy Program, LW, has long since begun a series of tests of the accuracy and power of new laser weapons. They managed to create a system capable of performing both offensive and defensive operations, which is ideal for a fighter jet. The power of the LW system reaches 300 kilowatts, and it works on the basis of infrared radiation directed at the enemy and absorbed by the materials of the hole, thereby causing it to heat up to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a lethal weapon against any kind of equipment because every tank, artillery, and aircraft is shells that ignite, detonate, and tear the target from the inside due to high temperatures. The environment's changing, and the threats are changing, and therefore we are looking at laser-directed energy weapons. They're around and about on ships, using such weapons and their incredible speed. Godzilla can easily fly into enemy bases and destroy key positions. Of course, the enemy can try to shoot down the aircraft in advance, but it will take a lot of effort because Godzilla flies at an altitude of over 72,200 feet, which is unattainable for most modern air defense systems. In addition, it has several levels of radar protection. First of all, it's a new stealth skin. While on older fighters, it was just a special reflective solution that covered the aircraft. In Godzilla, invisibility is achieved thanks to a new composite material that's both durable, lightweight, and invisible to radar. Secondly, Godzilla was equipped with a radar blocking system that emits properly tuned waves that prevent enemy radars from detecting which aircraft is in the air. This is just one potential concept of what it might look like. It's to describe a vision more than anything else. It's to put something tangible in people's minds. However, there was still a huge risk that enemy hackers could hack into the system and take control of the fighter jet. Nevertheless, representatives of BAE Systems said that Godzilla would have new software for security critical systems, which uses automatic coding. In simple terms, the enemy will not be able to remotely hack the system, and it should not be affected by interference generators. This manufacturing technology center will allow us to evaluate the technologies that are available. As you can see, the cooperation between European, the cooperation between countries and Japan is yielding incredible results. Why do the United States refuse to participate in such a program? The head of the U.S. Defense Department, Lloyd Austin, expressed his approval of the cooperation between London and Tokyo and also expressed his intention to explore the possibility of joint development of unmanned aerial vehicles with Japan, which will operate in conjunction with new generation fighters. Doesn't all this seem strange to you? Could it be that the U.S. and Japan have only created the appearance of a break in their relations, but in reality, it's the other way around? And this is indeed the case. The fact is that Britain and Italy are unwilling to share their technologies with the United States because world politics is a complicated thing. The U.S. has already tried to acquire some European technologies, but was refused. So Japan came in handy as it managed to get all the necessary data, which it then passed on to the Pentagon. Most likely, the United States and Japan are now secretly creating another fighter jet or improving their previous joint developments, such as the F-35AB fighters that are already in service in both countries. It's the best flying aircraft I've had the opportunity to fly. The Japanese F-35A is focused on strike missions due to its maximum takeoff weight of 63,900 pounds, combat radius of 670 miles, and the ability to reach speeds of over 1,180 miles per hour. As of the end of 2020, the Japanese Air Force has received eight F-35A aircraft, with about 100 more due to arrive by 2025. However, these will not be the typical F-35s we know about. Lockheed Martin has developed a modernization of the aircraft, which will now reach a completely new level of power. The new F-35 is designed for the most powerful and daring attacks, as it carries more than a dozen Japanese supersonic maneuverable missiles with a total weight of 6,600 pounds. They reach a speed three times faster than the speed of sound and can destroy the enemy even without using a warhead, simply due to kinetic energy. Because the future of weapons could look very different from what they look like today, 
We're looking at options to have flexible payload bays with different missiles. Bombs were not forgotten either. The fighter carries six cluster munitions or one nuclear bomb, the power of which is difficult to describe in words. Kamikaze drones are also on board and are used to attack enemy positions. Reconnaissance drones will collect all the data about the area and send it directly to the pilot's helmet. Another idea at the heart of the new F-35 is to build a fighter jet with systems that can be upgraded as easily as downloading an app to a smartphone. In the future, it will enable the Japanese F-35 to remain relevant and quickly adapt to specific needs. The pilot can just download the necessary settings and fly into battle on autopilot, knowing that the aircraft is fully prepared for even the most challenging missions. Under difficult conditions, the development of the engine for Mitsubishi was transferred to this aircraft primarily to increase its speed. The fighter is capable of performing the most complex air missions at a speed of 1925 miles per hour, but this figure is not final. And of course, how can we do without invisibility? With the current development of technology and experience in this area, engineers only had to create a material capable of reflecting radar waves in the opposite direction or changing the direction of the beams hitting the fighter. With this approach, the radar simply cannot detect the aircraft because the waves do not return to the grating. The Japanese engineers also installed the latest APG-81 radar, which is effective against both air and ground targets. It is employed against targets that we cannot normally see visually, whether it is due to weather, smoke, haze, or just some sort of other thing that's in the future. Even if the F-35 does not have any shell left, It'll be useful as a universal reconnaissance aircraft that transmits data to other F-35s via an internal communication channel. As we've already said, the new generation F-35 created jointly by the United States and Japan is supposed to become an invisible flying command center, a real stronghold of the army in the event of a full-scale war. And this is a fact. With such technologies, it can be classified as a sixth-generation fighter jet, and this once again proves the value of U.S.-Japanese cooperation. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching so far. We'd be extremely grateful if you'd subscribe to our channel and give us a like for our efforts. Have a great day and see you soon.